Hello friends, let's talk about phonemes and allophones today. The word phoneme is derived from the word phone. The word phoneme means minimal contrastive unit of sound. In phonetics, sound can be split to the lowest level and the lowest level to which sound can be split is called phoneme. Phoneme cannot be split further. Therefore, the smallest distinguishable unit of sound is called phoneme. For example, in the word mat, we have three different minimal contrastive units or the phonemes m mm, a and t or in the word cat we have three phonemes k a t or in the word pat we have again three phonemes p a t so if we change any of these sounds with the other sound that is to say if we replace any of these sounds with the other sound the meaning also changes that means these are in contrastive distribution with one another that is they are totally different from one another in that sense we have 44 phonemes in English out of which 24 are said to be the consonants and 20 are said to be the vowels. Vowels are also classified into pure vowels and diphthongs. 12 are pure vowels and 8 are diphthongs. Therefore, in all, there are 44 phonemes in English. On the contrary, sounds which are not contrastive in nature are called allophones. Allophone of a phoneme occurs in complementary distribution. Allophones never occur in the same environment and therefore they are called positional variants. For example, sound k when occurs initially in a word, it is aspirated. For example, cat K in cat is aspirated while K in take is not aspirated. Similarly, P in pen is aspirated and P in tap is not aspirated. Similarly, T in take is aspirated and T in bait is not aspirated. The aspiration depends on the position at which a particular sound occurs. In other words, these sounds are not different from each other. Only thing is that they become aspirated when their position changes. There are three allophones in English. And all those three allophones are the allophones of voiceless plosive sounds. There are only six plosive sounds in English, out of which three are voiceless and three are voiced. Voiceless plosive sounds have allophones. For example, k, p, t. All these three sounds have their allophones. Hope you have understood the difference between phonemes and allophones. Thank you.